Open to the public, three minutes per, spe per speaker for no longer than 60 minutes. Superintendent's report, correspondence and board comments, including committee reports, personnel agenda, then the consent agenda, proposed executive session subject to board approval, and then we'll have an addendum, which will have one create position, appoint a teacher, and then approve a contract. And then we will adjourn. Motion for previous minutes. Motion to approve the minutes of the previous regular meeting held on Monday, August 13th, 2012, as circulated. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. There are two changes on the agenda. Um, they are both on page four. D, the appoint new probationary teacher. The salary has changed. It is now $55,324. And this step is step three rather than step one. Under F, appoint new .5 FTE teacher. Um, again, the salary has changed. It is now $27,662. And again, the change in step is to step three rather than step one. Okay. I did not see any students or school presentations. Any parent groups? Okay, open to the public. Anyone wish to speak? I think they're all still eating cake. <laughs> 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 okay. <Cake every meeting. laughs> okay, superintendent's report. Thank the board for your continued support. We're delighted uh, to have Eric uh, right on board. That's it? That's it. Okay. Uh, correspondence and board comments. Who wants to start? We'll give Larry since he sits by himself. <laughs> Not really alone. Uh, just want to welcome everybody uh, who was appointed this evening. Uh, it's a very exciting year coming up. And uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that we've got a new principal coming up and a new drama club and new volunteers and, and uh, something that touches me personally, um, uh, a new Spectrum class. Thank you, Frank. It's uh, it's about time that you know we, we started to lead the way in uh, in autism spectrum classes, and uh, we talked about this a few years ago. And I'm I'm thrilled that you did it. Um, our kids deserve to be educated in our district because uh, we do it well. So thank you so very much for that, and good luck to everybody in starting off the new year. I also would like to just welcome everyone and have a wonderful school year. Um, I actually had two questions. Um, one, if parents would like to know when school begins and when the school holidays are for this year, is that information available on the website at this point? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, all the information is there, including our new calendar, you know, the, the Roto Gravure, the full color calendar. And uh, we'll have those for the start of school, I believe. They, they should be back. But the uh, the, the calendar, uh, month by month, uh, plus the the year in a glance calendar is all available with holidays, etc. Okay, good. Thank um, you. September 5th is the first day of school. <laughs> The other question I had um, had to do with the state assessments. I know that the districts have all received the results. I was wondering when parents could expect to hear the individual results about their children. Just a, a rough estimate, if you knew. Uh, I believe that the um, principals said that they would be uh, holding them for the open house when the parents come directly. Oh, OK. And then for any parents who might not attend, are they then mailed home yes. to them after yeah. that? Um, I want to welcome everyone new to the district. Uh, I know that it's 
good to have a uh, new principal on board, set the stage for the year. And uh, I just hope that everyone has a smooth and happy start um, to the new year. And uh, I know that maybe the bus schedule will occasionally cause some concerns those first couple days, but I know that our transportation department uh, really does a nice job uh, taking care of any of the glitches. So um, fortunately, if your child does have one the first day, I'm sure that there will be somebody there to um, help to solve it um, soon after that. So um, that's all I have. Uh, I'd like to thank Anne Marie for your presentation on the tax warrant tonight. It's never um, as easily understood as we all hope, but I think um, through your presentation, everyone had a, um, an easier time understanding the numbers. It's never easy to take a huge spreadsheet and put it into little boxes, um, although it should be. Um, I would like to welcome everyone uh, for, that we've introduced tonight. Um, I, funny, when Dr. Sigurding was introducing the new drama program, we had chills. And I think because I've seen the presentations locally um, that you've guys worked on. So I'm, you know, it's great, greatly anticipated that the work will be done here with our kids here in Beacon. And with a theater like we have, mm -hmm. the sky's the limit, right? Um, I wanted to thank Dr. Walkley. Um, while I was on vacation at the last meeting and I was unable to attend, I did watch the presentation. Um, my goodness. The information was so well put together and so easily understood that anyone that went to the website to understand, to view our meeting, or do we still have it on the television? Yeah. Uh, I live in Fishkill, so it's not open to me, but um, just I appreciated how easily someone could understand and, and really understand where we're going and, and what we're working on. So thank you. Um, I did want to remind you we were going to talk quickly about this, the start of school. Okay. There was uh, questions about the transition days. Um, before the time, Deacon used to have the first day of school on the 5th to be uh, at the middle school for 6th graders only, and at the high, uh, high school for ninth graders only, but with the faculty, of course. Uh, but uh, when we looked at the calendar, uh, lo and behold, we realized that, that uh, we don't get our state aid for those days unless everybody's in attendance. And uh, we did not build a calendar with those two extra days in there. So um, we, we have to be here for those days when we get everybody here. Uh, there, there'll be a couple of other changes in the calendar. As uh, I see Kim raises her eyebrows, just don't tell them yet. Uh, a couple of other small changes in the calendar. As we uh, move forward, uh, we, we were, uh, Barbara and myself, were not lucky enough to uh, prepare this calendar for board approval. So uh, if we can't fix it in the front end, well, we'll have to uh, fix it after, and that's what we're, we're going to do. So uh, well, we're very pleased that talking with the middle school and high school principal that uh, they've made other uh, considerations for the new students coming in. Matter of fact, at the middle school, uh, last Wednesday, uh, we had an orientation. Many of the sixth graders uh, came out for a walk through the building, uh, had a chance to talk about the handbook and expectations, as well as the other seventh and eighth graders. And I know Dr. Sigurding has uh, some special programs in place the first week of school for the incoming uh, ninth graders. So things should be just fine. Thank you. Okay. Motion for, oh, where did my paper go? The personnel agenda. Motion to approve the personnel agenda is listed from o A to O. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Motion for consent agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda as follows from A to H. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 
Addendum. Value. Okay. We need to do a roll call for the tax warrant. Larry Cohen? Yes. Christine Galvo? Yes. Georgia Patchen? Yes. Mary Beth Stevens? Yes. Melissa Thompson? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Addendum. Create position. Motion to create a point five FTA English as second language position at Roundabout Middle School. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Appoint teacher. Be resolved upon the recommendation of the interim superintendent of schools that the Board of Education appoints Sophia Gordon as listed on the agenda. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Approved contact, contract extension. Be resolved that the Board of Education does hereby approve the extension to the July 2nd, 2012 agreement between the Board of Education of the Beacon City School District and Wanda Gonzalez as listed on the agenda. Second. Comments? Questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Proposed executive session. Motion to adjourn to executive session for the purpose of reviewing the planning history of a particular person in collective bargaining under the Taylor Law, and the board is not expected to take action after executive session. Second. Comments, questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried.